so I am back for my book read of pretty much all of May. I read African Spirituality, Forms, Meanings, and Expressions, and it was edited by Jacob, and I do not know how to pronounce the last name, but there's that. Um, and this book took me three weeks to read just because I wanted to take it um, pretty slow. It's a pretty thick book. Um, within the pages it does have like um okay so each chapter is like a combination of essays put together so then after each chapter it has like notes and the information on like uh where they got their information from to make that section of the book so those parts I did not read I didn't feel like it was a point and for some of them they were a good couple of pages which helped me out and then for other ones it was just like maybe a page or something and then we'd be on to the next chapter this book um I found it really really interesting um to be a better book reviewer I would need to I would need to look into like who wrote this stuff because some of this stuff I was just like eh, I don't know but um it was really like insightful for me i thought it was just going to be speaking like african spirituality as far as more of the spiritual aspect um as far as like um like the yoruba people and stuff like that something similar to like hoodoo but you know of course it's going to be different there in africa so that's what i thought the book was going to be about and learning about but nope the book was about all the different spiritual systems in africa and to me it was just like mind-blowing to see that there's so many different systems and um things like that i think they talked about like roman catholic christianity um they did talk about like the spiritual aspect um what else they talked about islam um and then they also put in some other like religions which from if i'm remembering correct wasn't like specifically tied to africa but they kind of like correlated with some of the systems that they were speaking about. So those are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, but even just that many, I was just like, wow, like, that's pretty interesting to know that there's like, I know Africa is so huge, but I just think of like most people either being like Christian or um, are spiritual. So that's what I was assuming out there. But I think the top religion from when this book was written was... Um, Islam I hope I'm saying that correct I don't want to like offend anyone or anything but I think it is Islam um so or is it Muslim is it Muslim is it Muslim Islam I'm I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong but whatever that was um that is like the top religion out there and um they read the Quran and I thought that was so cool and interesting um the book was really really long for me super long I only did I want to say like, oh my gosh, my mind is going so blank. It might have been like, I want to say 20 pages a day since I did the um, three weeks. And um, it was a struggle. It was a struggle from page one to 100. And then after that, um, it kind of got better for me. And part of that was because I started reading it on the 1st of May. But for some reason, I was like super busy the first couple of days where I had skipped a few days so then I had to like catch up and stuff and so that was like a lot like reading extra and then just some of the parts of the book were just like not too interesting to me and some of them were really interesting to me um they talked about the part that I liked of course is going to be the spirituality part they had like a section on um, mommy wada and I learned a bit about her and so I want to go and research on my own because some of this stuff I was just like mm, I don't know if this is true or false so I just want to learn more about that and then they also talked about um like within the spiritual system like the kings and the queens and making their um what are those things called like ancestor altars and like I thought that was really interesting and like they talked about how someone becomes queen mother and then the process of like the kings and the queens and um how they pick the next person who's going to take over and things like that so that was like 
interesting and like a system all in you know a complicated complex system like all in its own but overall i thought the book was pretty interesting had a lot of information lots of facts um it is a book that i would not recommend anyone to read however just because it's so long and unless you're just it's one of those books that it like if you're just trying to read to read yeah but if you want to read for like learning more about your spirituality and stuff I don't think that this would be the best book for that it did have like I said a little bit of information in there on some of the spirituality systems but it wasn't like anything to me um where I'm already at in my um journey it wasn't anything that I was just like oh, okay like let me tell somebody to read this um like that I would suggest to any of my friends who are also on this journey or anything like that because it was a super long book and to me it just wasn't the best um book to get that information I like books that are like you know short sweet to the point even if they're long like just to the point of what I want to read kind of thing and this just was about different stuff that for me it was interesting because I like to learn but at the same time it's just like I didn't really need to learn that right now. That's not what I was looking for. But um, overall, I thought it was a good book. There are some questionable things in there that, again, like I said, I need to personally or I want to personally go back and like research and see some of the points that they were making. I felt like a little bit like they're trying to discredit like some of the um, stuff as far as like african people coming up with their own spiritual system and like um it's not 100 percent discrediting it but some of the like um i want to say loas as i think how you pronounce it and stuff like that like they hinted to like possibly like uh, um african people getting them from other cultures and stuff which i think is like so strange it's always something but yeah so here's the book again and that was my little thoughts on it. Into the next one. Bye.